You guys asked for more, so I'm here to deliver. <laughs> Today we are watching three abandoned McDonald's horror stories. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button if y'all want more. And subscribe as well. <laughs> I think these horror stories are starting to get inside of me. So this story is about a vlogger, which I'm a vlogger as well. A day with Kev, go subscribe right now. That link is at the top of my description box. And she decided to go into an abandoned McDonald's. Let's see what happened. Hi everyone, it's Faith again. Hey Faith! Today I wanna to show you guys this abandoned McDonald's restaurant. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. She, so <laughs> she sounds like me. I'm always asking y'all to do that. Wait, let me check something real quick. Not suitable for the viewers under the age of 16. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm glad you guys are over the age of 16. And I'm like 50. I probably need to retire already, huh? I've been on YouTube for like half my life. Well, let's carry on. Let's go. Let's go. This McDonald's was located in a small suburb and it took Faith over an hour to find the way there. Wait, over an hour to find this McDonald's? There's like a McDonald's every three minutes. Why would it take over an hour to find this one? But it was worth all her efforts. She felt excited to be the first YouTuber to explore this place and was sure this video would break the record of- I'm smiling because he said YouTuber. Yo, go Faith. Anything for views and likes, right Faith? And was sure this video would break the record of her channel. I heard that there was a massacre here, and the victims were McDonald's employees. Ooh. The killer was never arrested. Faith emphasized while filming the inside of the restaurant. There were neatly arranged tables and chairs on which many dust layers had thickened over time. Look! Look! <laughs> Why does she talk like this? <laughs> Oh, so cringy. But aren't all of us YouTubers? Look. The old menu and some posters were still there on the board. Hey, I gotta admit, it may not be the most healthy alternative, but McDonald's is fire. Leave your favorite item from McDonald's in a comment below. Mine is the Big Mac, and I'll take a McFlurry and a medium fry. The old menu and some posters were still there on the board and also covered with dust and- Wait, I like the sausage muffin too. Okay. Mold. Faith went to see the ice cream machines, the soda maker, and fryers. Suddenly, she saw a patch of mold on the floor behind the counter. The police once found a body here. Oh. This place is a mess. Faith panned the camera around to the kitchen. Oh, I think we should move on. Faith said to the camera and stepped over the mess on the floor toward the bathroom. As she was walking along the hallway, the flashlight went out. <gasps> so she was walking down the hallway and the flashlight went out. Yikes. Yikes. She didn't change the battery. Faith stopped to shake the flashlight, hoping to brighten it up a little longer. Oh, oh <laughs> dang! Why did he just pop out so fast? <laughs> God, that's so creepy. <laughs> hey, that really like jump scared me. Hey, you did better than some horror games, Mr. Animator. Oh, shoot. Faith was startled, almost dropping the flash. Behind the window was a smiling Ronald Clown statue, Ooh. whose eyes were wide open and very spooky. The statue looked old and odd. So it's just a statue. We know it's gonna come alive, I mean, come on. But for right now, it's just a statue. The statue looked old and odd. Look guys, this clown looks so real. Realizing nothing so dangerous about this thing, she moved on to the other corners. The next destination was the toilet area, which was told to be where the murderer hid the corpses. Oh, so the toilet area, so the restrooms, is where the murderer hid the bodies. Wait, look at Ronald. Look at Ronald! Them eyes! My boy said. Right after she walked to the door, the unpleasant musty smell wafted out. It's stank, huh? Hesitating whether to go in, 
Even though people said it was a rumor, it still frightened Faith. I'm feeling pretty nervous, guys. Just Oh, so now you're nervous? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty nervous, guys. Just a rumor anyway. Faith turned the doorknob. Nothing special here. Oh, just a regular bathroom. <laughs> Faith sighed, yet still wanted to check it. She went around with the camera on. It looked cleaner than the other rooms, and there was no mold, no blood, or sign of murder here. So this bathroom is like spotless. Everything else in the restaurant is completely dirty. And this restroom is spotless. I wonder if that Ronald uses this restroom. Guys, the rumor is fake. Faith left the toilet. She said the rumor is fake. It seems that no corpses have ever been in this restroom. This time, Faith focused on the floor she was standing on. There were a lot of stains, some messy piles of things, some dusty paintings and doodles. God, these are really... Wait. Out of the ceiling? Faith was panic-stricken, then she fell to the ground, dropping the camera. On the ceiling was a dead body hanging. The corpse was wearing a McDonald's uniform. I got chills! Her hand dangled in the air. Her face with two black eye sockets was covered in messy hair. Suddenly, her mouth started to move. No way! Faith was so scared that her whole body froze. Oh, not the cockroaches, not, okay, okay. The brown liquid trickled down, emitting a foul stench throughout the air. Faith was panic-stricken, then she fell to the ground, dropping the camera. Rumors were true, and this place was really haunted. At this point, she didn't care about the video anymore. She quickly grabbed the camera and ran away. Hey, my girl got out of there. She was on toes. I'm out. She quickly grabbed the camera and ran away from the abandoned restaurant without looking back. Fortunately, during her run, Faith found a police station. She quickly rushed in. So she made it to the police when station. When the police arrived, they quickly searched the entire restaurant but did not find the body. The police searched the restaurant but did not find the body. But the police continued to investigate based on Faith's video and traces at the scene. Faith offered the police some footage from her camera for investigation. As she watched the tape to the end, Faith shivered when she discovered the most terrible thing. There was no statue of Ronald the Clown in this abandoned McDonald's at all. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, so he was real, bruh. When they looked at the footage, there was no statue of Ronald McDonald at all on Faith's camera. So that means when she walked by him, when those eyes moved, that wasn't just a standing statue, that eyes moved. He was real. <laughs> and he's coming for you tonight if you don't smash that thumbs up button right now. Okay, I want to hear the laugh again. It's abandoned McDonald's at all. <laughs> <laughs> Scary childhood horror story. This is story two. Cody went ahead and I followed right wow. behind, straining my eyes to look ahead in the direction he pointed. Oh my God, I think he was right. A tree house. I love tree and houses. that was a big, big one, but it looked very old. We had to go far, far away from our home to the edge of the forest to finally find this tree house because it is also hidden by many bushes and ancient trees. See, I told you this paper was a treasure map. I've never seen Cody so excited. So about a week ago, his dog disappeared for several days in a row. Oh. Fortunately, until the fifth day of missing, it eventually came home with a piece of paper with strange markings on it. So his dog brought home a strange piece of paper five days after the dog went missing. Okay, what does this paper say? Cody insisted it was a treasure map, and it took us a week to get our- <laughs> Cody want that money. <laughs> treasure map, he like, oh, 
Tre treasure map? I ain't gonna be broke no more? Hey, Cody, pass that map. You feel me? Understood. It was a treasure map. And it took us a week to get our parents' permission to start our adventure. Now comes the hardest part. Who's gonna do it? Me. I'll go. Zoe! Zoe! What does it look like? Why does she gotta have my daughter's name, bruh? Zoe! Zoe! What does it look like? Oh, how should I describe it? Spider webs clung to the faraway ceiling, drifting what? in the weak breeze. There were no toys, no tents, and no fluffy pillows of all kinds. I don't think you'd like it up here. I hollered to Cody, and I noticed jam pouring everywhere over the mattress and on the floor. It seemed that Cody and I weren't the first ones to discover it. You know what's even more weird? In the middle of the house were clothes and all kinds of stuff. And I could see a part of the large cage hidden behind the What's mess. in the cage? I sighed. <sighs> and just imagining Cody's reaction when seeing this could make me frustrated. He must be very disappointed. At that moment, I heard Cody whispering my name as if he was afraid anyone would overhear us. Zoe, Zoe, we have to go. Zoe, Zoe, we have to go. Well, well, well. Look who I found. Who was that? Before I could react, I heard a man's voice coming from below. Is he the owner of this treehouse? God, if that's true, then Cody and I got in big trouble. While I didn't know what to do, I heard Cody reply. My dad's a cop. <laughs> oh no. He gave him the worst line ever, like the worst lie. My dad's a cop. If you do anything to me, you're going to get arrested. I heard Cody reply. My dad's a cop. He's on his way back. That's my friend, Cody. The smartest friend that I've had. But that <laughs> man seemed not to be convinced. Who is because that? I heard him saying, Oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? <laughs> oh, is that so? Because if I find out you're lying, I'll split your throat. He said, if I find out you're lying, I'll split your throat. What? All because of just a lie? I'll split your throat. <laughs> as soon as I heard this, I started to panic. It's easy for Cody to get out of this situation. He's right below and he can run away at any moment. But I have no way to escape. He's going to find me as long as he comes up here. I was in a complete state of panic. While my body went cold with dread, I backed away to the corner of the room. Just then, I realized I'd made my way through the mess and my back touched the cage. <gasps> Her back is touching the cage! I realized I'd made my way through the mess and my back touched the cage. That's when I thought, it's not just me in the treehouse. I slowly turned around, and the next second, my whole body froze. There was a monster in the cave. I've never witnessed such horrible scenes in my life. It seemed that my scream had awakened the monster, which slowly raised its face, revealing its bony face and bloodshot eyes. Zoe! Zoe! Get out of there! Now! Go, Zoe! Cody's call brought me back to reality. I shivered out of that hellish corner. The monster was still staring at me with wide eyes, its hand even reaching out as if it wanted to attack me. I decided to climb down despite what was waiting for me down there. Oh my god! <laughs> the man had a very scary face. His eyes were red and full of anger. You lying kids! <gasps> Prepare yourself to die! His rage exploded as soon as he saw me, but there was nothing he could do because Cody was using his whole body to stop that maniac. Run! Zoe, just run! <laughs> Wait, so Cody's strong enough to hold this, like, freaking huge man? And he's saying, run, Zoe, run! <laughs> okay, so he can hold 
somebody that's like 200 pounds. Okay. All right. Somebody 200 pounds bigger got it. Run, Zoe, just run to tell my parents. They're gonna know what to do. What okay. About you? What about I you? I can hold him. Just hurry up and come back. That's right. That's the only way. Following Cody's instruction, I ran and ran. Wait, and ran. you really left? You weren't supposed to really leave. He's just saying that, so she, she's supposed to say, no, I'll never leave you. I'm gonna stay right here and help you. That's what he was really asking for. And she left him. He's about to die. Cody's instruction, I ran and ran and ran. I didn't look back until I was out of the woods. The police did the investigation for years, yet Cody the man or the monster are nowhere to be found. As reported, the red streaks I saw were not jam. Of course they weren't. It was blood. So Cody's going missing. The man and the monster. Took me more than 10 years Over to come back 10 to years house. she came back. I know Cody is gone. But somehow, I feel like he's still staying around. Is he up there? That ain't... That better not be Cody. That better not be Cody. Okay, Friday Night Funkin'? Scary story. What? Friday Night Funkin'? Hey! It was at the end of March in 2021. The Friday Night Funkin's game was storming everywhere, and they started to make this game into an arcade game. Since Hannah and I were fans, we knew we couldn't miss this opportunity. <laughs> Are you sure they have Friday Night Funkin's? Once the car was off the highway, I grumbled to Hannah. She seemed really excited. We'll know soon. The place is in the middle of nowhere, so we won't have to queue. This amusement arcade is so remote that I hardly- So they go going to an amusement arcade. Man, I used to go to arcades when I was younger. They're so dope. This amusement arcade is so remote that I hardly found it on my GPS. Besides, the road was so difficult that it took us nearly an hour to get there. It was around 5 p.m. when we arrived. I was pretty disappointed as it was not an amusement arcade like I imagined. It's just like an old warehouse that has been poorly refurbished. I told Hannah to leave, but instead she insisted. Come on, let's give it a try. At least we'll get free drinks. Hannah pointed to the poster in front of the door and smiled happily. Then we got in. What? Are you kidding me? I cried out in displeasure. The whole room had only a few arcade machines. The finest place of the room is the dance area designated specifically for Friday Night Funkins. They're all brand new and look like they've never been used. At that moment, a man in his 40s, who appeared to be the owner of the store. <laughs> he just walks out. He, he just looks creepy. But hey, let me get a Coke, bruh. Like his laugh is like, finally, <laughs> finally someone I can kill. <laughs> <laughs> who appeared to be the owner of the store, came out to greet us. Hello, you are the first to visit us. You can drink as much free Coke as you want. Wait, first to visit you guys? This place looks like it's been in business for like 300 years. And we're the first visitors? You can drink as much free Coke as you want. Hannah was so thirsty at this point. She finished in one blink and then immediately started the Friday Night Funkin' Stance Arcade. In terms of me, I didn't like this game as much as she did. If it weren't for the sake of pleasing Hannah, I wouldn't even be here. Anyway, I did not play games. Hey, get it, Hannah! Coke. I just stood there and watched her having fun. <laughs> Hannah was so busy playing that she forgot the time. It wasn't until 10 p.m. that I managed to pull her out of that place. Are you getting even more obsessed? I dragged Hannah into the car and grumbled. She said nothing but her face clearly showing irritation, anger, because I interrupted her gameplay. I mean, Hannah, it's 10 p.m. It's time to go home. L let's lose the attitude, okay? You had your fun. Clearly showing irritation, anger, because I interrupted her gameplay. Due to busy exams, we couldn't go there for the next few days. I noticed that Hannah's face turned visibly pale. Therefore, as long as we finished the final exam, I took her there. This time, the shop owner still greeted us warmly and personally brought a tray of water for us. So they went back and he has some drinks again. I wonder if the drinks are affecting Hannah in some kind of way. Greeted us warmly and personally brought a tray of water for us. Just like last time, Hannah emptied one and climbed back onto the Friday Night Funkin' machine. See, cause she's like down in the hole 
thing in one setting like come on don't just stand there like a statue like a like a statue or or a statue <laughs> a statue come on don't just stand there like a statue then i took a small sip and joined hannah however not uh, long after that i started to feel ill see is something in the coke is something in the drink she started to feel ill i started to feel ill abdominal pain nausea suddenly came from nowhere i rushed to the bathroom half an hour later the situation was still not getting any better wait you taking a poop she really trying to get it out she's sweating and everything girl you look like me on there twins we poop twins half an hour later the situation was still not getting any better i forgot my phone outside so i tried calling outside but hannah must be playing so she couldn't hear me i had no choice but to stay there for hours due to the pain i fell asleep without realizing it i woke up feeling dizzy and bitter in my mouth it was already dark outside god i couldn't believe my eyes hannah she's still dancing she's like still crazy. on there her footsteps didn't seem to be tiring even though her whole body was drenched in sweat her face was strangely pale. There were many free bottles of water around, all of which were empty. Hannah, you're dancing for the whole time? I screamed, my stomach still aching. Instead, Hannah ignored me. When I was about to pay, I ran into the old shopkeeper who was carrying another tray of fresh water. As soon as he heard that I was going to leave, his face changed drastically. He just stood there watching and looking at me with anger. I remember begging my friend, Hannah, let's go home. Come the on, shop Hannah. Owner scared the hell out of me. But not only did Hannah listen to me, she became extremely unreasonable. She whirled around in my direction and yelled, Don't you dare interrupt me again, you freaking psycho! Then she pushed me hard and Yo, I fell. Yo, what's up with Hannah? She done pushed us on the ground. Then she pushed me hard and I fell to the ground. Book an Uber by yourself. That night, I left her there and went home alone. After that day, I could not contact Hannah. Neither could her family and friends. Having a bad feeling, I went back to that amusement arcade. Oh, it's only been a few days, and this place has already crowded up considerably. The Friday Night Funkin's machine was full, and Hannah was nowhere to be seen. I sighed and went home. Weeks later, Hannah still didn't go to school. Her parents and the police went to look for Hannah. But strangely enough, the place seemed to have disappeared from the map. And the place disappeared from the map weeks later? So it was really never there. The police are looking, they're looking everywhere. And just like that, my best friend disappeared. As time passed, I forgot about that event. Until yesterday, when I was surfing the dark web, I accidentally discovered some pictures posted by a hidden user. In the picture was an amusement arcade that was seemingly located in a remote place. Yet, it attracts unexpected visitors. My eyes fixed on the photo of the restaurant's poster. God, is that Hannah? My friend? I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and found a video attached. Yo, dang, Hannah didn't turn into a whole skeleton out here. Baby girl need like a hundred meals. Maybe we can ask Ronald in the other story to hook her up with some food. And that hair. Wow, Hannah, you look a mess. She's still dancing. Wow. That was really dope. Shout out to Mr. Creepy. Um, that was really dope. And there's a lot more stories where this came from, as y'all can see. I'm gonna leave the stories that I watched in my description box below. If you guys want more, be sure to smash that thumbs up button right now. Y'all got me to like 30,000 likes on the last one. That was freaking amazing. Thank you guys for that. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos just like this and click that post notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time your boy GWK uploads. Who wants to play Friday Night Funkin' with me?
I got an arcade we can go to. Let me know in a comment below. I'll come pick you up. Peace!